I'm Ashton Addison from Eventchain.io for Investment Pitch Media and FinTech News Network. And today on Blockchain Interviews, we have Eric Sabursky and Graham McBain from XYO Network. Welcome to the show, guys. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thanks for having Thank us. Thank you so much for taking the time. Eric, I'm really looking forward to hearing about XYO Networks, how you guys are disrupting the blockchain industry and integrating into the real world. So if you would, just tell us a little bit about the company. Absolutely. So XYO Network is connecting blockchain with the real world. And what I mean by that is um, typically smart contracts on Ethereum or any other smart contract platform have needed some sort of piece of data to activate. And this data is typically something online, something that's not tangible. Um, but we're changing that and we're making it so that these smart contracts can be initiated by real world events, real things that you can tangibly see or do in the real world and have that automatically verified online so that you could have trustless real world interactions uh, automatically creating exchanges on blockchains. Um, and on top of that, we are also using this technology to do geolocation and other sorts of things, proof of interaction in the real world, and also having that on the blockchain. So it's really cool, exciting stuff. That sounds awesome. Yeah, I heard a lot about the location networks that you guys are doing. Uh, one thing that comes to mind with me is playing more futuristic games like AR and VR games that use geolocation as well, such as like Ingress, Pokemon Go. Uh, is this something that you guys are able to connect into and tap into the real world to help these games better? Or is it actually expand way past games? Yeah, um, you know, we're actually using uh, games as, as our proof of concept. Uh, with something like this, and, and when the world uh, is starting to be controlled more and more by uh, smart contracts, you're going to want a really robust system and something that's that's really secure. And so instead of us going straight for something, you know, mission critical, like uh, maybe uh, airplane supply chain logistics, we've thought maybe that a safer place to start might have been games. So absolutely, Pokemon Go, we're going after something like that. Actually, this past weekend, uh, over 100 people at our conference played our Pokemon Go style game and they they walked around and uh, collect, checked in at a bunch of different places in order to earn an unfungible token. And we're actually pretty sure that might be the first time that over 100 people have worked, actually done physical work in the real world in order to earn an unfungible token. So we're pretty excited about where this is going. Yeah, absolutely. And one of the big advantages this whole uh, AR gaming has on top of our network is it's a verifiably provable location. So the reason you couldn't really monetize things like Pokemon Go is because it was really easy to spoof your location and catch all the Pokemon on the other side of the world from your couch. It wasn't hard to do, but um, if it was built on something like our network, uh, you couldn't lie about your location. It's verifiably provable where you, at least the general area you are and you can't have um, hacking like that. Yeah, for sure. So with these blockchains, you know, they're supposed to be trustless. And one of the trust issues with Pokemon Go is that you have to, the, the game has to trust that we're not spoofing our location. We are where we say we are, and there we're, we're playing legitimately. So how are you guys incorporating that trust factor into the platform? Graham, is it? Oh. Yeah, so uh, incorporating the trust, it's actually, um, it's really sort of inherent to the way that the network verifies origin. Um, and so the idea is that uh, you often won't lie to yourself. And so every device that's in our network is going to be keeping track of its own history. And then it'll be doing what we call a bound witness or a handshake with every other device that it comes across. And so what that does is the, the more and more handshakes that are uh, that a given device has, the higher and higher the probability that they are where they say they are, or more likely uh, are where they came from in our case. So um, we're not acting as a trusted authority. We're trying to set up mechanisms in which uh, people will be most incentivized if they behave uh, most truthfully. And okay. Eric is the one who's actually designing those algorithms, so he'd know a lot better than I would. Exactly. Uh, can you guys hear me just fine still? Yep. Yep, yep you're back. Okay, great. Um, so yeah, the, the idea behind it is we have this protocol called a bound witness protocol, and it is exactly what it sounds like. It's a witness protocol where actually no one is just explicitly stating a fact like I am at this location or anything like that, and people have to trust it. Uh, it's more other people are witnessing people at other locations, and it's agreed upon by everyone seeing it happen that that is actually true. Um, so it's less of a statement and more of witnesses confirming what you're doing. Okay. I also read that you guys 
are incorporating hardware into it, or you have these location beacons that help verify the network. Can you explain how these help, um, and are they necessary? Yeah, absolutely. So um, uh, XYO has existed as a company, actually, for a few years now, since 2012, as a findables company. So our main product has been a little uh, hexagon shape that you can attach on uh, your keychains, and through our app, it can tell you where your keys are and if they're far away or not. Um, so we've sold a million of those devices. They're out there being used for that purpose. But with a quick firmware update, um, that when CXYO network is officially launched, they can all be sentinels in our network, and they can all be mining cryptocurrency by having these Bluetooth interactions with everything around them, verifying their own location and everyone else's location around them. So we hope to keep selling that hardware and really introduce hardware into this whole blockchain of things. That's awesome. Yeah, it's always great to have a hardware piece. It really solidifies, uh, brings extra force to the platform. So, Graham, you guys are storing a lot of stuff on the blockchain. Um, does XYO Networks need its own blockchain, or do you guys just back on like the Ethereum blockchain? And do you need a coin to run on XYO Network? Yeah, great questions. Um, so, really, XYO Network is a position more of uh, what's called is this emerging term of a middleware protocol. And so what that means is that we're a service that any smart contract platform or any chain can actually use when it needs to verify location data. Um, and so to the question about our token, uh, there will really be two ways that uh, the XYO network is used. And in, in this case, the public network would require a token. Um, and so what will happen is all these devices are out there um, shaking hands and showing where they were. And then as that data gets stored, if you as a um, smart contract want to access, did this person go here? Was this package delivered? You have to pay for that request. And the XYO network then uh, sort of compensates all the people that helped uh, gather, store, and transmit that data. So uh, so yes, there's a token involved. Um, and, and yes, it is a public network. OK, great. So. You mentioned that XYO Network has been running as an existing business for many years now, uh, but I'm guessing you more recently incorporated blockchain technology. At what stage of this development are you guys at, and how long have you been working on the blockchain part for? Eric? Um, so we started working on the blockchain early this year, around uh, January time, and really started getting things going around March, April, May, and then really picked up this summer. Um, so it's just in, been in the past year that we've started this whole blockchain things. And uh, just this past weekend, we had our first annual conference called Spatial. And at it, we actually uh, had our first uh, demonstration of the live network going from start to finish. And basically, the demo we had with everyone in the audience, it was really cool to see, is we put one of our Sentinel beacons on a drone. And we had another Sentinel beacon on stage with our CEO. And then we flew a drone uh, across over the audience. It was a little dangerous, but uh, I, I, I was driving it, so it was OK. Um, <laughs> um, we flew the drone over the people. Uh, once the drone interacted with the thing on stage, we had basically the interaction get recorded, stored on our network, accessed by a smart contract to initiate a transfer of Ethereum from one account to another. And you could see on stage, everyone saw the Ethereum transfer right when the drone got on stage. And it was the first. Uh, live action of our network for everyone to see. It was really cool. So we're just getting started from here, and it's going to be uphill. Yeah, that sounds great. Uh, I love the drone you know, feature in that. That actually makes it really exciting. So it sounds like you guys have done a lot you know, just this year alone. What are the plans in the next six months and one year for XYO Networks? Do you guys have big plans for 2019? Definitely. I think Eric can talk more to the, the actual XYO network side itself. Um, I can talk about the what we're doing as far as testing the network. Um, that game that I spoke about, the the scavenger hunt game, our, our next focus over the next uh, year, for me anyway, from the developer side, is to get in front of more developers and get them playing with that game and get them playing with other use cases that we can uh, make really easy for them to become part of the network. So uh, we're really excited at the conference. A lot of our uh, the people that were attending had really great ideas of how to use that game uh, one guy is part of a club that does cross-country motorcycle races that go for, they ride upwards of a thousand miles a day. And currently they're using really antiquated ways to check that people got to all those points on earth. And they're really excited to incorporate XYO and the, the uh, app that we've built. So I'm really focused on on getting people on that, but Eric can tell you a lot more about uh, the network and, and where we're at with that. Yeah, absolutely. Our big goal for 2019 is just getting these beacons everywhere across the world because they really are almost useless without interacting with other beacons around them. 
So we want these beacons to be everywhere and as many places as possible. And another big thing we just announced uh, yesterday, actually, officially, is uh, we're partnering with a satellite company named Global Star, and we're going to launch a network of satellite communicating uh, beacons that are also able to communicate with, uh, obviously, the satellites. And this will greatly work of Sentinels and also improve our geolocation features. So we're, those are the two big things, is getting our Sentinels everywhere on the surface of the Earth and everywhere in space. Wow, that's really exciting. <clears throat> so as well, just to touch a little bit on the token that you mentioned, uh, are you guys doing an upcoming token sale, or what's the situation with the XYO token? Yeah, that's uh, that's a really great question. So right now, the, the XYO token is only available if you're um, from us, if you are an accredited investor or uh, overseas investor. Um, and so, you know, we, Eric and I, are really on the development side, and, and XYO does a really good job of insulating us from pressures around the token price. We're really focused on building great technology, making sure that it works, and that we've got a whole other team that's uh, that worries about that stuff. So, uh, sadly, we're not the right guys for that. Um, but if you'd like to know boring technical stuff, we've got really great answers. Awesome. Hey, development is key to growth and mainstream adoption. So I'm glad that you guys are working hard and you're able to focus. So yeah. looking forward to your roadmap, you have a lot of these milestones you're looking to hit. What kind of limitations do you expect you know, might come along the way for XYO networks? Eric? Sure, yeah. I think one of the big limitations is, uh, as I said before, we need these beacons to be in as many places as possible and have as many people using them. Otherwise, it really has no point. So I think the biggest hurdle that we have to overcome is mass adoption. We need these things to be used by businesses, by uh, delivery men. We need these things to be used by pretty much every reasonable application they need to be a part of. Um, otherwise, the, the, all this awesome tech we're building isn't really going to get used the way it should be. Definitely. You know, getting that hardware out, are you guys distributing it throughout America, or is it a worldwide effort? It's very much a worldwide effort. Um, and right now, what, what we're really focused on is finding existing channels that already have uh, compatible devices in the field and seeing if there's ways that we can add value. So we, we've noticed a few systems, um, such as like electronic logging devices on, on commercial trucks, that kind of thing, where there's uh, services that people have to pay for that log data about their um, they're transversing the world. Well, that's a perfect use case for XYO to actually lower that cost for those people while while adding more value. So um, we're really looking for high value opportunities for us to be able to include our software in existing devices because we recognize that deploying our own devices is one strategy, but um, co-opting existing networks is a much faster way to gain mass adoption. Definitely, definitely. Uh, that's great. So. From the venture capitalist side, I'm sure there's a lot of viewers that are interested in this uh, on our channel. What would you say is the profit model for XYO Networks as you, as, as you guys expand and develop a profitable business? Yes, yeah, so we've really got two ways of thinking about that. And a lot of it is to um, think about it more like an open source company. So the public network that we're creating is really more um, to serve as a public utility, right? So for open contracts and open networks that want to be able to call, it should be a pretty um, open system. And then we, we as XYO will benefit um, by holding, the, you know, again, I'm not, uh, they, they purposely don't make us have to learn all of that stuff. But uh, from a more traditional revenue standpoint, there's going to be a lot of companies that don't want to participate in the public network. And mm -hmm. so we'll really be focusing on helping uh, those internal corporations, maybe even governments, set up their own private networks, um, and then there'll be a, there'll be a uh, you know enterprise charge for that. So that'll look a lot like a Red Hat model, mm -hmm. which uh, with their recent I IBM acquisition has proven to be a pretty pretty <laughs> solid idea. So that's where we're focusing. Definitely, that was huge news. Awesome, thank you, Graham. So if people are looking to get involved in participating in XYO Network, um, helping with the development, what's the best way to contact the team and get involved with the community? Absolutely. Uh, all our contact info is found at our website, uh, xyo.network. You can always feel free to reach out with uh, any questions uh, right on the contact page. People get back to you real quick on that. And um, if you want to get involved soon, you can buy our mining, uh, mining kits. That'll come with a bunch of hardware, beacons, and bridges. Um, and to find out what more of those devices do, check out our website also. Um, and also, uh, download our apps as they come out. Right now there is a beta tested version on Android and an iOS one to come soon. So um, as these products and these apps come out, just download them and play around with them. That's awesome. 
Yeah, I'll leave the links to your website and to the apps in the description box below. And that's all the time we have for now, but I really appreciate you guys taking the time, Eric and Graham. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how XYO Networks develops in the coming months. Let's do another interview where we can see how the company is flourishing uh, at the start of 2019. So thank you so much. That's great. Thank you so much for the time. We really appreciate being on the show and, and enjoyed uh, getting to meet you in person. Hopefully we'll get to see you at a lot more events next year. For sure. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Eric Graham. See you guys Thank later. Thank you. Thank you.